Welcome to Make It Easy Education. Generations of Computer The computer has evolved from a large-sized simple calculating machine, to a smaller, more powerful machine. There are five generations of computer. First generation. Period is 1940 to 1956. Hardware used in first generation computers are vacuum tubes for circuitry. For memory, magnetic drums were used. Punched cards were used to input to the computer. Paper tapes were used to input to the computer. The output was in printouts. In first generation computers, the instructions were written in machine language zeros and ones. It was difficult for the users to write the instructions in machine language. Examples of first generation computers are Universal Automatic Computer, Electronic Numerical Integrator and Calculator, ENIAC, Electronic Discrete Variable Automatic Computer, EDVAC. Some of the characteristics of first generation computers are it was expensive to operate and used a lot of electricity. It generated a lot of heat, which was often the cause of malfunctions. It solved one problem at a time. The computation time was in milliseconds. It was enormous in size, taking up entire rooms. Second generation. Period. 1956 to 1963. In second generation computers, the transistors replaced the vacuum tubes of the first generation of computers. Magnetic core technology is used for primary memory. The magnetic tapes were used for secondary storage. The magnetic disks were also used for secondary storage. The input was still through punched cards and the output using printouts. The instructions were written using the assembly language. Assembly language uses mnemonics like add for addition and sub for subtraction. It is easier to write instructions in assembly language, as compared to writing instructions in machine language. Examples of second generation computers are PDP-8, IBM 1401, CDC 1604. Some of the characteristics of second generation computers are it generated a lot of heat, but, much less than the first generation computers. It required maintenance, but, less than the first generation computers. The computation time was in microseconds. The transistors are smaller in size compared to vacuum tubes, thus, the size of the computer was reduced. Third generation. Period. 1964 to 1971. The third generation computers used the integrated circuit chips. In an IC chip, multiple transistors are placed on a silicon chip. Keyboards were used to input and monitors for output. The keyboard and the monitor were interfaced through the operating system. High level languages like Fortran, COBOL, Pascal, BASIC and C were used for programming. They are called third generation programming language or 3GL. Examples of third generation computers are IBM 370, PDP 11. Some of the characteristics of third generation computers are the use of IC chip increased the speed and the efficiency of computer. It used less power and generated less heat. The cost of the computer reduced significantly. The maintenance cost of the computers was less compared to their predecessors. The computation time was in nanoseconds. The size of these computers was quite small compared to the second generation computers. Fourth generation. Period, 1971 to present. The microprocessor was used in the fourth generation of computers. In this thousands of integrated circuits were built onto a single silicon chip. In fourth generation of computer, semiconductor memory were used, resulting in fast random access to memory.
Magnetic disks like floppy disk and hard disk were used as secondary storage device. It became smaller in physical size and larger in capacity. Mouse is used as pointing device. Many handheld devices were developed in this generation. Operating systems like the MS DOS and MS Windows were developed during this time. This generation of computers supported graphical user interface (GUI). High-level programming languages are used for the writing of programs. The computers were linked to form networks that led to the emergence of the internet. Examples: In 1981, IBM introduced the first computer for home use. In 1984, Apple introduced the Macintosh. Some of the characteristics of fourth generation computers are The microprocessor has made the computer smaller and cheaper than their predecessors. They are portable and more reliable. They generate much lesser heat and require less maintenance compared to their predecessors. Computation time is in picoseconds. Fifth generation Period, present and next the fifth generation computers are based on artificial intelligence. They try to simulate the human way of thinking and reasoning. The use of parallel processing and superconductors is helping to make artificial intelligence a reality. The goal of fifth generation computing is to develop devices that respond to natural language input and are capable of learning and self organization. In simple terms, the computers of this generation are supposed to behave like humans. Thank you for watching Make It Easy Education. Every week you will be notified with a new video. An easy way to learn more. So, don't forget to subscribe.